everyone, Miss Art here to share with you my live reaction for Naruto Shippuden episode 479. This is it guys, it's here. This should be technically the final episode for Shippuden as we know it. Now what I'm expecting from this episode besides potentially giving me tons of feels <laughs> is that it will wrap up the storyline that we see in chapter 699 in the manga. Okay, prepare, prepare my heart. Let's jump into it. Uh, and I think this is going to be like the last time we see this opening. Feels, oh goodness, oh, I'm already getting the feels. <laughs> Gonna miss you guys. You're not really going away. <laughs> but this is the conclusion of their fight and of this part of the story. All right, yeah, I'm really curious. Okay, so we're basically starting. It looks right back off, kind of where like the manga picks up. Cause yeah, Kakashi yeah. and Sakura go. To where Sasuke and Naruto are. I remember that in the manga. Go Sakura! Save the day! Look at them. How have they not just bled out by this point? <laughs> I liked how like it zoomed up on Sakura's head like and it her head kind of like stops the bleeding visual metaphor. Good job guys! All right yeah do your healing work! I need to concentrate. She's gonna be my wife one day. <laughs> Look at that. You tried to, like, destroy the world again, Sasuke, and Sakura is still healing you. That's dedication right there. Oh, she crying. Naruto smiling. Team 7 again together. Aww. You know, that is gotta be tough. For Sakura and Kakashi just to watch and they weren't able to do anything but they got got the best possible result Naruto and Sasuke survived Aww. You, oh you know, that music oh look at them they're all so happy <laughs> aren't you a happy sensei oh he's putting his headband back on Mission completed. All right, so we're seeing the branches from the infinite Sukuyomi coming down. Hey, careful, there's people in there. People are being freed. There's Hinata, yay. You're free, Hinata. Go marry Naruto. What'd we miss? Holy crap, what happened to the world while we were gone? It is a mess, Naruto. Making the sign together. Remember, they lost both their arms. The sign to release the world from infinite Tsukuyomi. Teamwork and cooperation. Interesting montage we're getting. Seeing the branches all over the world come down. With the image of Naruto and Sasuke standing there. Effective. Everyone's free. You guys came that close, Kage. That close. From Sasuke going on you. 10 10. <laughs> uh, remember when, like, everyone was freaking out about those tools 10 10 found from the Sage of Six Paths? And, like, nothing really happened with them? Missed opportunity, I think. Whee! Yeah, Killer B, there you are! <laughs> oh, oh, Swirly Zetsu! Goodbye. Goodbye, Toby. You're free, Yamato! <laughs> I felt how my mother, father, and brother Itachi suffered. Alright, now we're seeing... Yeah, the tailed beasts freed... ...from Sasuke's influence. Now what's gonna happen to them? Naruto, I'm sure. I will start to feel your pain and your emotions. Alright, there's the tool! Okay, we are seeing one of the Sage of Six Paths tools. Spitting back out some lost comrades. Good to see you guys again. I forgot their names. Like, karai and something like spicy and cold or something. <laughs> oh, Hinata. 
Looking so pretty. All right, now we're skipping ahead to the funeral for all those who were lost. Ah, Shikaku! Ah, Inuichi! Oh, feels. Look at him cry. Oh, face. Neji, they're standing over Neji's grave. Oh. Oh. oh, look at the emotion in Naruto's eye. The war really took its toll on everybody, including us. But I did appreciate that, like, Sasuke was narrating over these, sa these scenes. Alright, so now we're transitioning to... Okay, this isn't in the manga, but these are scenes clearly, like, extending the, the after of the war. Welcome to being Hokage, Kakashi, aka do all this paperwork. Suffocate in a pile of paperwork. These scenes are nice because they're definitely shifting the tone to, you know, an optimistic perspective for the future of the shinobi world. And this is just one more example of Naruto's influence bringing all the villages together. This scene literally has people from three different villages being friendly. Gotta, oh gotta, smiling. That gets me. <laughs> ah, I just lost an arm. Merely a flesh wound. Alright, Tamari asking the big questions. What are you going to do about your arm? Yep. Harvesting cells from Hashirama to make him a Hashirama Senju DNA arm. Cool x-rays. I like that we got those x-rays. It's not just like... Blob. There actually appears to be a bone in there. A couple bones. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we're closing out with some terrible raps <laughs> from Killer B. Oh. Oh, yeah, good job. Bravo. <laughs> well, at least Naruto appreciates them, Killer B. You got one fan. Oh, is that Sasuke in jail? <laughs> Oh, that is funny. He's got a seal on him. <laughs> I guess that's what probably would have happened. That's not shown in the manga, but... Oh, now we're seeing... Oh, Mike guy. His legs, he can't recover from them. Wasn't that a similar in injury that Rock Lee got, but Tsunade was able to heal him from? I guess this one's too extreme. Oh, but it's so nice to see Mike Guy again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look <laughs> at that giant fruit basket behind him. <laughs> oh, I'm super enjoying the light tone of this part of the episode. Ten Ten's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Still stuck with these people. Some things never change. Now they're setting it up where Shik Shikamaru's already a personal assistant to the Hokage, AKA Kakashi. Why did you ask me to come to the academy? Oh, uh, full circle. It reminds me of the episode where like, burgeoning team seven enter the classroom and they like drop an eraser on Kakashi's head. Story going full circle. All the feels, guys. You never got to take the tuning exam, right? Or retake it. I, the sixth Hokage, hereby grant you the rank of Jonin. Jonin, you're Jonin finally! <laughs> oh, snap! That's what he'd like to say. Oh, way to pull the rug out. Ah, ha! Yes, you have to do studying! Always a source of amusement, Naruto trying to study. <laughs> How do I escape? I'll just stay a guinea. Uh, you may have, like, saved the entire world and are one of the most powerful shinobis ever, but we're still gonna make you study. <laughs> and go through the official ranks. 
<laughs> uh, irony. He's like, why did I save the world? I never would have had to study. <laughs> I did save the world. <laughs> oh, dude, let's go eat ramen. Oh, and once again, bringing in it full circle. Bring in the story full circle. Yuriko Sensei taking Marsho out to eat ramen. Just like the good old days. Oh, that swing. Aw. Mm, he's having like an in real life flashback. It's all thanks to you, Iruka Sensei. Do you remember that day? That's true though. Iruka Sensei was Sas er, Sasuke. <laughs> Naruto's like first supporter. Ugh, and we're gonna flashback to that that first dramatic scene ever that we got in Naruto. Way to go, Iruka Sensei. You don't get enough love in this series. Oh, and, oh, that broke my heart. That face broke my heart back in the day. It still does. I love it. Oh! It's like crying. Aw, oh, all these good feels. And then there's Sasuke. Still in jail. <laughs> we don't know what to do with you, so we put a seal on you and put you in a straight jacket. Oh snap. It's torture guy. <laughs> Kakashi. Alright, skipping ahead a little more, obviously, because Kakashi's face is on the mountain. Alright, and now this looks like we're returning back to more 100% canon stuff. Must you go? And we see that Sakura's hair has gotten longer, another indication of time having passed. Sakura was bringing up the fact that Sasuke too could get an arm if he wanted to. But he wants to go view the world. Perhaps I'll be able to see the things I couldn't see before. Also, there's something I'm worried about. Aww. Blush. She blushing. What if I said I'd go with you? She's still got the biggest crush. It's love. Love me, Sasuke. This is a trip of atonement. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Oh, it's so sweet! Forehead poke! Mata Kondoda. Oh, oh, setting up that romance! Setting up that Sasusaku! Alright, we're seeing that. Sasuke, walk away. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Of course, can't forget about Naruto! He can't leave the village again without seeing Naruto. Oh yeah, Naruto was rocking this, like, different jacket in the manga. You kept that thing? Thanks to you, I found salvation, says Sasuke. Mm, but now we share each other's pain. After all my travels through the world, I came to the conclusion that this sharing of pain can perhaps be applied to something much bigger than just us. As you and I know, the bigger the thing is, the harder it is. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm returning this, and I'll hang on to it. What is it? Until our real match, rematch, oh! To keep enduring no matter what until things come to pass. And for we who must endure, perhaps that's what it means to be a ninja. Oh, and it's the old headband. Sasuke's old headband. Oh, that's very... Oh, okay, yeah. Yo, yeah! Oh, no. Yeah, that's technically how the manga ended. Right there. Oh. And, like... Just in the manga, as it is here in the anime adaption, that's all very symbolic, because here we have Sasuke leaving the village once again, but his motives have completely changed. He is a completely changed person in a way. I think that's what he means when he says, uh, this is my act of atonement, I need to go see the world with new eyes, my new eyes, and quite literally one of his eyes is like new. He's got that ending gone. <laughs> but no, metaphorically, he needs to go explore. So it's just nice, once again, story is going full circle in this way. 
And all the feels. Uh, and yeah, this is probably the last time we'll see this ending too. <sighs> all right, now let's see what the preview is. I'm I'm very curious. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, hold your horses. Long ago, there was a fox spirit. A kitsune. <laughs> of course, this just reminds us of how exactly how this series started with panels like this and Sarutobi's voice, Sandaime Hokage narrating, and was named Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, well, that was just basically an overview of the entire story. All right. Hmm. Oh, there's there's Sunday 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 Me Hokage again, and little bitty Naruto. I will make you strong. Those look like some Hugos right there. Oh, look at little Nachi, so cute. Naruto and Hinata. Aww. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that the next few episodes, at least, we can expect to get are gonna be kind of flashbacky, a little fillery, but are just exploring these gaps that exist in the actual canon storyline. So it looks like we're going way back with this first one. <laughs> so when Naruto and crew were very little. And I like that it's called Naruto and Hinata because I like that pairing quite a lot. But as for this episode, I thought it did a good job wrapping up and staying true to how the story wrapped up in the manga. And even though there was some expansion and some like little filler areas, overall I think all of it still made sense and it served to even better piece together how the world was recovering from this great war. In particular, seeing Sasuke in custody, I don't think we got that information, but that's interesting information to at least get some kind of glimpse into about how authority reacted to Sasuke and his actions. He was punished in some way, but ultimately forgiven in exchange for working for Konoha's benefit from here on out. So that's nice. That's a good use of filler because it makes the narrative stronger. Ugh, but that's technically it, guys. That's how the, that's how this closes up. Oh, technically, this story wraps up with chapter 700, and technically, it's still going. <laughs> the Naruto franchise. So this part of the story may have concluded finally in the anime adaption, but I think the franchise is far from over. We already know we're gonna be getting more episodes and more content. So in my heart, it's bittersweet to say goodbye. I already had to say goodbye two years ago. And once again, I get similar feelings saying farewell to the anime adaption now. So, ugh. It's been a fun ride, but it's not over. That's the thing is it's not over. But as always, let me know what you guys thought of this episode, this huge momentous episode in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sharing your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this live reaction, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram are where I'm most active, especially Twitter. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!